I'm Lexi McHugh. I'm Ashley Tate. And I'm Roger White. And we are The Raven Report. Today we're going to look at the Alger Hiss spy case. Was he guilty of being a spy for the USSR? Let's see. Hiss graduated from Johns Hopkins and Harvard Law School. He was one of the most brilliant law students in his class at Harvard. Hiss practiced law in Boston and in New York, but returned to Washington. After graduation, he was picked to serve as a law clerk to Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes. Hiss worked in the State Department contingent that traveled with President Roosevelt in the 1930s. In the spring of 1945, he served as the Secretary General of the UN Orange Zing Conference in San Francisco, which is the meeting the UN was founded. In 1947, Hiss left the State Department to become the president of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. All was right with the world until Alger Hiss was accused of being a spy. Let's take a look. Hiss is accused of being a Soviet spy. Now let's take a look into why people thought this young, intelligent, inspiring man was a Soviet spy. Hiss was accused of passing U.S. military secrets to the Soviets. Guilty! Guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Letters in Hiss's handwriting were found in his wife's nephew's apartment, which were copies of the documents of the State Department. Now, everyone, let's take a look at today's scoop about the pumpkin patch papers. Chambers led many investigators to a pumpkin patch on his farm. At the patch, there were hidden documents and a hollowed-out pumpkin. There were also strips of 35 millimeter film and three undeveloped rolls. Chambers held these back. This evidence was eventually found its way to an un-American activist committee, which eventually issued Richard Nixon to subpoena for materials. Hiss's wife even testified against him. ...had been conducting investigation into the Communist Party infiltration of the U.S. government. Chambers produced microfilmed evidence of the documents that Hiss had funneled to him. Hello, Assistant Secretary of State Adolf Bertel. Yes, I have some good news for you. Hiss is a communist. In fact, the same information came from Sponge Intelligence. After he denied the charges placed on him, Hiss sued Chambers for libel. Experts stated that Hiss had typed summaries and personal correspondence on a typewriter that was being used for the evidence. A different judge was brought in for the second case. Hiss argued that the typewriter had been tampered with to produce untruthful evidence. La, 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 The next person to look at this case was a professional historian, Weinstein. Weinstein believed he was not a Soviet spy. Weinstein talked to Soviet intelligence and tracked down paper trails. Nixon had a large role in Hiss's case. Let's take a look as to why. I have the evidence. Show me. I might say that regardless of the ruling of this court, I will not part with the films. If the films go into evidence, I will go with them. The 4,200 pages of released records contained official evidence that would establish the guilt or innocence of Mr. Hiss. Nixon's testimony was quite dramatic. He testified for Mr. Hiss's indictment and dangled key evidence before the grand jury. The film documents called the Pumpkin Papers 
were in Nixon's possessions during his grand jury testimony. Nixon initially refused to turn them over as evidence. Nixon's speech to the jury was masterful, clever, nuanced, manipulative, and he made a brilliant show of it. basis for the December 15, 1948 jury indictment of his on two counts of perjury for denying that he had passed government documents to Mr. Chambers or seeing him after January 1st, 1937. The second grand jury continued to investigate Mr. Hiss until 1950. Hiss spent most of four years in prison where he continued to declare his innocence until his death in 1996. Hiss's son, Tony Hiss, has taken up the case of his father's exoneration and believes the newly released documents will be enough to sway historians, many of whom, as evidence from Soviet archives, have emerged in the last decade, have increasingly become convinced of Elder Hiss's guilt. Thank you for watching the Raven Report. We're gonna fly away now. Where's Lexi?